Hello friends, welcome to this new tutorial. Today I have here this uh, Google Pixel and uh, this is the Pixel 1 and the problem on it is the battery. So today I'm going to show you how to replace the battery. I already ordered this one online. I think it's like 11, 12 dollars. You can order it from eBay or Amazon. By the way, to order the electronics for uh, the electronics parts for the phones, it's better to order them from eBay but always check uh, also on Amazon you may find a good deal but most of the time you don't find everything on Amazon you will find it on eBay so this is just quick advice so today to replace the screen uh, to replace the battery on this phone we need to remove the screen from here to remove the screen it's very risky we may damage this one and that's what happened to me I was like doing it in rush and I mess up this screen so today I'm just going to give you some adver uh, advices how to lift up the screen from here without breaking it and hopefully you can get it done successfully. Alright, so to do this job you will need a battery and you will need uh, a T4 or T5 or T6 screwdriver because the, if you don't have special screws, uh, screwdrivers you may uh, you may not get the right screw to open the screws inside I mean the, the right screwdriver to open the screws inside so I have here the T4 and also I have here the T6 I think this is the T6 also we will need a nice semi and tweezers and we will need like some plastic cards like this Make sure you have plastic cards, very thin, not thick. And also you may need a guitar pick, something like this. And I think that's all. You will need a glove uh, to like uh, because you're going to heat up the screen. You will need a glove like this. Then you will need a heat gun. I think that's all what you need. All right, so let's start. The first, first of all, we're going to heat up this screen carefully and we will spread the heat all over the, the screen just the edges and then maybe like two three minutes and we will make sure to not focus the heat like this in one spot but we will need to like heat it up this way all right and uh, once it's ha hot enough we can start like peeling it off okay so I'm just gonna show you how to heat it up just like this and spread the heat all over the edges Also make sure don't focus the heat in one spot like this because if you focus the heat in one spot you may damage the LCD in the bottom. Okay so once the screen is hot enough you're gonna use this IC semi to make a small gap like this here and make sure don't wiggle like this or like this or like this just slide it gently here and make a small gap just like this and once you make a small gap there you're gonna use this uh, play card or the plastic and you're gonna insert it here so once you insert this one here you're just gonna slide it gently until you release this part once you release this part you're gonna use another card and you will slide it here gently just on the edge here don't go deep inside until you release this part okay so once you release this part you're gonna lift up this corner like this and you will answer this one and go deep but when you go deep inside here we have a cable you make sure don't if you feel like this one stuck just gently if you feel like it's stuck somewhere just uh, pull it a little bit uh, back and keep sliding like this and here also there is a risk because the cable is folded in this part here and then you're gonna slide just gently gently make sure this card doesn't reach this point here in the bottom because the cable is folded exactly right here and if you slide this one deep inside you're gonna cut the cable which is inside here and keep doing like this until you release the screen from all the edges screen by the way is already open so I'm just using it as an example you know all right so once you release this one you're gonna be very careful once you open it like this you're gonna pull it this way then you will find the thing here 
So why, why I'm telling you to not slide it here? Because as you see, I cut the cable from this corner here. This cable, it get cut with this tool. So that's why I already have a new screen here that I'm gonna replace during this repair. All right, so once you open the screen like this, what you're gonna do, you're gonna open these two screws here. We're gonna use this screwdriver to remove this bracket. So this is the first one and this is the second one then we're gonna remove this bracket put it next to the screws then I'm gonna use this IC Sami and they will pry up or peel off pry up this gently very carefully because we have some components there I don't want to damage the components there you can use your nail if you have a long nail you can use it and that's it so we remove the screen so here is the damage what happened so when i was like sliding sliding this one here i go here and they cut this cable the, this card stacks here and they cut the cable and i cut the cable from this side you see and this is the cable which is cut i cut it from here and then i need a new screen so that's why i already got a new screen here all right, so now after I open the, I open the, I remove the screen, I need to open these screws to reach to the battery. So we have here one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine, nine screws. And I'm gonna use the same screwdriver Make sure you are using the right screwdriver because if you don't use the right screwdriver, you may damage the, the screw and you will never be able to open this phone all the screws are the same so don't worry about mixing them up So I still have some screws stuck in here. This one. And they have two more stuck in here. So it's not a problem. So what I'm gonna do, I will use this IC semi and they will insert it here between the frame and this middle frame. Raise up. Make sure you remove the SIM card tray from here. So you remove the SIM card. I feel like something is holding here. So I think there is a screw uh, underneath this spot here. Let me check. No, it's not a screw. So I just can go ahead. All right, so I release this part. Make sure don't go deep inside because you may touch the motherboard. All right, so once you release this one, we have a small cable here. Make sure don't cut that cable. Okay, I released it. All right, this is the middle frame. So now we have the battery right here. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna disconnect the battery. So I disconnect the battery, make sure you have the right battery. Let me open this one. Sometimes even if you order the, the right model number, they may ship you the wrong one. And always make sure you compare what you get with what you have.
All right, as you see, this battery should be like this. All right, so this is the right battery. So what I'm gonna do now, I will remove this cable from here because it's on my way. So what I'm gonna do, I will disconnect this cable. The battery is already disconnected. So now I need to remove this battery from here. I will try to do like this. Make sure don't spook the battery. All right, so this is the new battery. What I'm gonna do, I will connect it first. Okay, it's connected. Then I will place it in its place. By the way, we already have the adhesive here that's gonna hold the battery. So you don't have to add more adhesive. so it's connected very well so now I will reconnect this one back all right so I connect the battery so what I'm gonna do now I will put let me remove this glove so what I'm gonna do now I will put this Back, I will connect this cable here. Okay, it's connected. Then I will I will clip it. I will uh, connect it from the top first. We will connect this cable again because it got disconnected. All right, so I clip it now. Make sure it's connected very well. All right, so what we're gonna do now, we're gonna test this screen. So to test it, we're gonna just connect this cable right here. Make sure these uh, two connections are matching together. Don't use any force. All right, so I'm just gonna do it like this. All right, so it's connected. Then what we're gonna do, we're gonna turn the phone on. All right, as you see, it turns on. I'm just gonna wait for it to turn on. By the way, while uh, we are waiting, we will need a double sticky adhesive. This is, uh, I forgot to mention this, we will need a double sticky adhesive. Some people they are using some kind of glue. But anyway, so I'm using the double stick adhesive. This is, uh, you can buy it online from eBay or Amazon. It's not expensive. You can buy something like this, big one. If you are a cell phone repair uh, technician, you can buy this one. It's uh, it will like help you to fix like uh, hundreds of phones, hundreds of phones. But uh, if you are using it just in your phone, you can buy the smallest one, something like this. They have different uh, wide. Anyway, buy the double sticky uh, adhesive. This is the 3M double sticky adhesive. You will find it online. All right, so the screen is working normal now. So what I'm gonna do, I will turn off this. And they will put the adhesive around this screen so always the screen when you try to open it you open it this way you need to fold this cable here then disconnect you can use your nail or you can use something sharp to reach down okay 
So what I'm going to do now, I will put the screws back. Then I will put cover this part here with the adhesive. And they will remove all the residual here from the old adhesive. Make sure there is nothing crooked here. And we will go from there.
all right so the frame now is very clean what i'm gonna do i will put the adhesive I will put two strips of adhesive from the top to the bottom like this. And another strip from here. to here As you see, I didn't cover the camera lens and the earpiece and the proximity sensor with the adhesive. We will cut a little piece from here to not untear up the cable. Also, I have a screw gonna get, that's going to go here. Alright, so now it's time for the LCD. So before I connect the LCD here, I will remove the plastic which is covering the adhesive. Alright, so what I'm going to do now, I will connect this cable. Then I will put this bracket here.
Alright, so now the, the cable is connected. What I'm going to do, I will turn the phone on and test it before I glue it down. I put the SIM card battery back. Okay, it looks like it's working good. So what I'm going to do now, I will make sure it's matching with the frame perfectly. Then I let it go down. No, there is something wrong here. I forgot to put, uh, there is a mesh that needs to be here on the LCD. So I'm, I have to lift it up one more time. And I hit that need to make sure you don't forget anything Alright, so this is the mesh that I need to put back. I will find a way how to insert it inside here without damaging my screen. Alright, so let me lift up the screen a little bit. I'm afraid to break it again. That's it. As you see, I glue the screen before I make sure it's perfectly finished. And I forget the mesh, but I put it back safely. Alright, so the screen is working good. Alright guys, so that was how to replace the screen on, uh, on the Pixel and the battery. 
So if you are doing this job for yourself, you may need to order a screen with your battery in case you damage it. But you can give it a try before you order the screen if you don't need your phone because once you break the screen you will not be able to use the screen until you get uh, the new one all right anyway so that was uh, how to replace the screen uh, and the battery on the google pixel one i think it's gonna be like the same on the other google uh, pixels and if you find that this video is helpful please hit the thumbs up also share this video with friends if you have someone who have the same phone and is trying to replace the screen uh, if you have any questions, leave them in the comment area. I will get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Have a wonderful time. Peace.